proposed soccer stadium would be built along the Chicago River on this piece of property that was once home to Finkel Steel. Renderings by the developer Sterling Bay show a 20,000-seat stadium. It was pitched as part of their plan to entice Amazon. The facility could also be used for concerts and other events. The Lincoln Yards development was one of the sites Amazon executives visited earlier this year, but a spokesman for Tom Ricketts says the Cubs owner's decision to buy a majority interest in the soccer team had nothing at all to do with the possibility of Amazon maybe locating its second headquarters here. Instead, it was simply a business decision by Ricketts, who's been interested in getting involved in soccer and had previously been a part owner of an English team. Sterling Bay is tapping into Ricketts' expertise in sports franchising, and he could take a role in developing Lincoln Yards. But while Ricketts' investment in the USL soccer franchise may generate some additional excitement, there are concerns about the overall development along this part of the Chicago River. We have a lot of soccer fans in the city. I think it'd be good to help on in terms of economic development, but we have to look at the bigger picture of this area, how it affects the surrounding communities. Waggis Pack says he and some community groups want to see a large-scale public park, 25 to 40 acres, to be part of any development, and they complain the mayor won't commit to that. His office says the development framework calls for 60 acres of open space with at least 10 acres for athletic fields and other recreational facilities. And while a soccer stadium with a Ricketts connection sounds appealing, there are many steps in the process before plans for this undeveloped space take shape. Craig Wall, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.